Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video we're going through the North Melbourne vs Port Adelaide game in which North Melbourne um, won it in the first half and then just did nothing after half time. I'm pretty sure it was 41 to nothing at half time or 40 nothing at half time. Um, and in the end they only scored I think a point in the second half or something like that. And uh, Port Adelaide only scored a um, solitary goal and that was pretty much it for the um, for the second half. And let me just double check that I'm saying that correctly. It was, yes, 41-0 at half time, and then there was only two scoring shots in the second half as the weather just got to an absolute... It, the, the, the weather was almost unwatchable. It looked like 1970s TV, um, just with how bad the weather was, um, as it, you, you couldn't almost see the players play, uh, just with how... It was almost hail, that's how bad it was. But anyway, let's just jump into this game review, and it will basically be the Riddell and Garner game review. Um, and basically, I'm just trying to figure out how, in which way I can almost get maybe both of them, maybe get um, one of them and Goering as well, and then work that out, etc. as they were absolutely huge. 129, 125. Knowing me, probably one of them will get injured. King had, and we'll go through the stats, he had one of the craziest last quarters. Um, and then you also have Tripodi actually got to 100. I thought she was on 90, so she must have had some uh, fancy stats added at the end. Um, and yeah, she had a really good game in general, just tackling everything that she saw. Um, as you see here, they had 129 tackles, and um, to their credit, Port Adelaide had 91, and just trying to see where is Goody. Goody got up to 45 in the end, which isn't the worst, um, and what did Window get up to? Window, I don't even have my side anymore, but I just want to check 37. So a lot of the, this game, actually, you can probably tell by my reaction here, I'm pretty sure at the end of the game, Tripodi was on about 94, maybe even 90. So they had a lot of stats and um, post-game added just because they couldn't pick them up in the game. Riddell, 129. She dominated um, from the start to finish, basically. 30, 36, 36, 27. Uh, Garner, pretty much the same. 41, 32, 30, 22 in the last quarter. And that was the difference between those two for the outright scoring. Um, and then you see King here. I'm pretty sure if you look at the stats, King had uh, nine tackles in the last quarter alone. Eight disposals, four uh, four of each, and nine tackles was her output for the last quarter. That's 36, yeah. That is the full uh, 56 that she scored. You have Riddell on 27, Smith on 25, and Garner 22 in the last quarter as well. It's Goody on 22 in the last quarter. She saved herself some points there, which was good to see, um, especially because I'm pretty sure her break-even, if I go stats by... Uh, Stats by Jaden, I'm pretty sure her break even was in and around that 45. So she'll make a little bit of cash. Um, Goody here, you'll see 42, and I just want to see window, what was hers, 34. So they're going to go up the same amount, those two. Um, and you see Tripodi here is projected to go up 196k and be 870k, give or take. She's mashing out that um, fourth midfielder role. And if you don't have her, she is basically keeping anyone close there. Um, O'Loughlin, that'll be a watch for their double to see how she's going. Um, I don't think I'll upgrade to her just because uh, there are other options, especially in the midfield. I think uh, trying to get that midfielder up to a fourth primo could be crucial. Um, so yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be a watch there uh, to see what I do there. But we'll see about that. Um, so yeah, Tripodi. O'Loughlin here, 77, we talked about that. King, Bruton, 64, Rennie, Sherlaw, Edie, Carney with a 59, so she did struggle in that weather. She laid, I think, like four tackles in one quarter or something like that, probably the third. Um, she had a, yeah, so she caught up a little bit, put 59 from her. She's still going all right, but I don't know if she's necessarily, if you really want those rookies in the um, back line, uh, if you really want those primos in the back line compared to in the um, in the midfield when you can just absolutely smash out big scores. Um, Gat, Smith, Birch, Randall, Bresnahan, uh, Wright, Craven, O'Shea, Wall, and Ferguson. Um, then you have Dalric, Maloney, Schultz. Um, so yeah, Dalric, 84, Maloney, 66, uh, Schultz, 56, Pope, uh, 55. Dalric, 84, that was uh, pretty much the only thing of note, to be honest, from Port Adelaide, as they all did um, in the 40s and 50s. You'll see here, I uh, was that four girls on the uh, 45, another on 46. Um, and then you also, yeah, so a lot of them were actually about 38, 39 post, um, post game, but they all had like something added. Um, so they all got up into the mid 40s. So pretty much everyone had about five or 10 points added post game. 
Um, and yeah, Goody forty five, not the worst, uh, but not the best. She did get stuck on the court, um, on the bench for a little bit in the um, in the, I think the third quarter, and that's why you see a six there. So I think she'll be better for it. I think um, they should almost try her in the midfield, just to actually like on ball, uh, because she is a really good tackler. So I'm surprised they don't put her on ball. Uh, Lavecki sign with a forty five. Um, as I said, uh, Wedland, 45 as well. O'Day, Trickle, Window with a 37. Uh, four free kicks against, probably just killed her. But um, yeah, that would have been 45 if she probably didn't give away as many free kicks. Um, Hammond, Lamb, um, Mules, Robinson, Gurmak, 27. Brooksby, Saint, Houghton, and Borg. So I'm just going to quickly check the double game weeks for round five. And you have got, um, you've got Richmond, Port Adelaide, uh, Carlton and North Melbourne. So quickly, and then I'll touch on this uh, on Tuesday as well, but uh, Riddell, Garner and Tripodi are probably, at least having two of the three, are probably a must, um, just given how Tripodi is probably going to average 70, 75 in the forward line. That's probably going to put an extra 100 points on anyone else in that uh, forward line, to be honest with you. Probably are locking around that marker as well. Um, Richmond, so yeah, that's that. Um, and so yeah, I think having one of Riddell or Gardner getting out of like a getting to Davy to someone's gonna be is gonna be tough. Um, given that she's 980k and you're gonna have Garner and Riddell here. If we go to Garner, Garner's gonna be roughly about one point. So getting Davy up to someone's gonna be roughly 200. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be tough probably to get, um, any, what's Gurian going to be priced at quickly here? She is going to be priced at roughly one point and a little bit. So I'll see what I do, but I think I'm going to try and probably go um, and hopefully be able to do um, something like... Um, and what's Goody going to be priced at? Goody is going to be priced at roughly... Um, she's going to be priced at probably roughly about the... Um, just looking here probably 665 so i'm going to need someone around that 600 marker give or take and a little bit more to um to get um upwards i don't know what i'm going to do but yeah I, hopefully i'll be able to do something davy just getting injured really does suck on that front um there maybe i have to play goody in her double game week or something which isn't something i really want to do uh but we'll have to just wait and see on that front but anyway that is the video there if you did enjoy it remember to like and subscribe turn the notification bell on so you know when i upload and if you want to see any more of the a4w content fancy related tipping related there'll be a play playlist on screen at the moment that you can click through and go to all my other videos on it but anyway i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys